Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer the question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Joining us today, we've got... Gwen. And... Ewan. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about John Tyler from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Mushy peas, blue slime, hot dog condiments, nacho cheese spray, chunky cottage cheese, mystery eggs, a smoothie surprise, hidden messes, and a pie in the face. <laughs> Before we play, John Tyler was the 10th president of the United States. He was the first vice president to assume the presidency following the death of his predecessor, William Henry Harrison, who died in office. Tyler set a major precedent by insisting to be the actual president, not just a stand-in, thus settling the constitutional question of succession. In 1845, just three days before Tyler left office, he signed a bill granting Texas statehood. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yes! Awesome, the youngest player goes first. Everybody, put your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take your hands out of the bowl for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Question number one goes to Gwen. Early in his career, John Tyler supported the Democratic Party, but why did he leave them and join the Whig Party? A, he disliked the Democrats' donkey mascot. B, he wanted to wear a wig. Or C, he disliked Democratic President Andrew Jackson. C, he disliked the President Andrew Jackson. That is correct. He disliked Democratic President Andrew Jackson. The biggest reason Tyler left the Democratic Party was because he disagreed with their leader, President Andrew Jackson. He felt that Jackson had become too powerful. Tyler joined the Whig Party to stop him. Which means... What do we have here for you, Elon? Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no. It's like frog pudding. I think there's a frog in there. You see that, right? You see that frog in there? Yes. You do? I Ooh, don't. just jumped at me. I don't. Well, it's about to be in your bowl and in your hair. No! <laughs> <laughs> Fine, just your bowl. Yes. <laughs> Ew, those mushy peas. <laughs> it is very, very mushy peas that smell horrible. <laughs> Oh, it's just peas? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad then. <laughs> but the smell, do you like that smell? If it's just peas, it's fine. Yeah, oh. it's just fine. Question number two goes to Elon. <laughs> Tyler was a congressman, senator, and governor before becoming vice president. Which president did Tyler serve under as vice president? Any guesses? Thomas Jefferson? Oh, that is incorrect. <laughs> Let's see if Gwen can steal it. Gwen. Tyler was a congressman, senator, and governor before becoming vice president. Which president did Tyler serve under as vice president? Harrison. That is correct, Whoa. William Henry Harrison. In the 1840 presidential election, Tyler was selected as Harrison's running mate for the Whig Party. Their campaign slogan was Tippecanoe and Tyler too, because Harrison had won the battle of Tippecanoe. Which means, Elon, we got another mess for you. Uh-oh. Or the slime. Slime. I think we should turn you into a Smurfette today. Mm -hmm. I wanted the slime. You wanted the slime? <laughs> yes. We well, got the slime too. No, just I got the slime. It's so thick. I don't even know if this is gonna come out the jar. It's peas and slime. It's perfect. <laughs> peas and slime. What a combination. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is fun though. Oh. oh there we go. Oh. And for good measure. <laughs> Kind of looks like a globe. <laughs> Question number three goes to Gwen. So far, no president has had more children than John Tyler. How many children did he have? 15. Wow, you're good. The answer is 15. Tyler had eight children with his first wife, Letitia, and seven with his second wife, Julia. His first child was born when he was 25, and his last child was born when he was 70. Do you like hot dogs? Yes. Do you want to be the hot dog queen? No. Oh. Oh, well, because I make the rules here. You're going to be the hot dog queen today. Starting with some nice relish. <laughs> I'm going to get you back for this. <laughs> You're going to get me back? What did I do? No, not you. Her. Oh, yeah. You can get her back. Ooh, it seems. Ew. 
and some nice mustard. Oh, no. And a little on your arms, a little bit there. Just like lotion. Just really gross, smelly lotion. And this mustard is 100 years old? No. Huh, that means we should probably use the rest of it. Your bowl's almost full already. Hopefully you have room for ketchup. Oh, no. <laughs> a little suspense. <laughs> and a little on yours. Fill up that bowl. Wow, it's like a rainbow or something in there. You have pretty much every color. It's so thick. Oh, no. You can't have a hot dog queen without her buns. Here we go. Let's put this on there. Nice little bun for you. And right there, too. And do you want this to be your crown? Yes. A nice hot dog crown. <laughs> Next question is for Elon. Tyler was the first president to do what? A, fly on Air Force One. B, deliver a State of the Union address. C, take office upon the death of his predecessor. C, take office upon the death of his predecessor. That is correct, C. The answer is take office upon the death of his predecessor. President Harrison died of pneumonia at the age of 68 on April 4th, 1841. He was the first president to pass away while serving in office. John Tyler then became the first vice president to become president because of the previous president's death. It looks like Gwen, it's not your day. Because we got nacho cheese spray. Do you like nacho cheese? No. Really? Not even if it's spoiled and being sprayed at you? Why do you look so concerned? You don't like cheese? I don't spray that. Spray it on her spray. shirt. No, I don't. Since you asked nicely, I still will. <laughs> spray it on her shirt <laughs> and her mouth. Oh. Get it on her arms. <laughs> That's enough, right? No. No? No. I guess not. Oh. <laughs> One more. No. Sykes. <laughs> What's that? That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your John Tyler Digital Magazine, but there's a twist. You'll be blindfolded for your question and mess. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Gwen. What year was the U.S. Constitution written? A, 1776, B, 1783, or C, 1787? B, 1783. That is incorrect. Let's see if Elon can steal it. Elon, you look excited to try to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the year the U.S. Constitution was written? A, 1776, B, 1783, or C, 1787? C, 1787. That is correct. The answer is 1787. The framers of the Constitution met in Philadelphia from May to September of 1787 to write the U.S. Constitution. It was ratified the following year. Oh no, Gwen. Looks like you got a mess coming your way. Oh, I know. Oh. Take a sniff. What is that? Is that dog food? I don't know, but it's really, really gross and slimy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is? Dog food. <laughs> it might be. Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Elon. Before the Revolutionary War, American colonists had a rallying cry against the British government that said, no taxation without blank. Rights? That is incorrect. Let's see if Gwen can steal it. Gwen, before the Revolutionary War, American colonists had a rallying cry against the British government that said, no taxation without... Independence? Oh, that's also incorrect. The answer is representation. 
King George III and his parliament imposed taxes on the American colonies, yet the colonists had no say in electing members of parliament. The Americans felt that they were being taxed unfairly by a British government in which they had no direct representation. Which means both of you are getting the mess this time. <laughs> what do I have for you two? I got something nice and this will smell pretty good for you guys, right? What is it? How does it smell, Gwen? Better? What is that? Ooh, it smells pretty strong. Uh, ah, no. Oh, no. this might ruin the hot dogs. What is it? <laughs> what is it? How's that a hot dog roll? <laughs> oh, it smells so terrible over here. <laughs> Mix it into your bowl. I still don't smell it. Well, you have so much in your bowl, you have a lot of smells going on right there. <laughs> now let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. <laughs> I got my payback. You got dog food and clam chowder. Ew. <laughs> oh, no. You don't like the combination? Do you? No. And now back to John Tyler. Next question goes to Gwen. An important precedent or new example was set when Tyler became president. It showed that when a president dies in office, what happens? A, the vice president becomes acting president. B, a new election is held. C, the vice president becomes the actual president. C, the vice president becomes the actual president. That is correct. The vice president becomes the actual president. When Harrison died, no one was sure whether Tyler became acting president or the actual president of the United States. The Constitution didn't give a clear answer, but Tyler made his views clear. He became the actual president. This served as an example in the future when other presidents died in office. Oh, Elin, what is next for you? I know. We might just overflow your bowl today. I don't want that. You don't? Yeah. What okay, is that? no mess for you. Psych. <laughs> what is that? It's chunky cheese. This is basically chunky spoiled milk, if you ask me. But some people call it chunky cottage cheese. I don't even know if this is going to fit in your bowl. <laughs> and where'd your other hot dog buns go? <laughs> I destroyed them. You destroyed them? Well, let's cover you up again with these. No, no. <laughs> Ew. 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 Ew, just flops in there. <laughs> Get on him. This is such a mess. It's splashed on me. <laughs> it splashed on you? Yes. There's some collateral damage over here, I think. Oh. How's your bowl looking now? It is very chunky. Your hands are buried in there. Yeah. <laughs> Next question goes to Elon. Why did President Tyler lose the support of the Whigs? A, he refused to wear a wig. B, he vetoed bills Whigs supported. Or C, he wanted to expand slavery. He wanted to expand slavery. Oh, that is actually incorrect. Let's see if Gwen can steal it. Gwen, why did President Tyler lose the support of the Whigs? A, he refused to wear a wig. B, he vetoed bills Whigs supported. Or C, he wanted to expand slavery. B, he vetoed bills the Whigs supported. That is correct. He vetoed bills Whigs supported. Even though Tyler was a member of the Whig party, he didn't support all of their views. When Whigs passed laws, he vetoed or rejected them. This angered the Whigs and they kicked him out of their party. My bowl's overflowing. It is overflowing. Give it to Quinn. I think the next thing should just go in your hair then instead. No. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, we got some uh -uh. eggs. I'm gonna be wet. We're back in the kitchen of Xavier. Are these real eggs today? Yes. I hope they I are. I know that. You want real eggs in your hair? No. I want real eggs in her hair. Oh. I think we should put these in your hair. <clears throat> I'm gonna need a little mini countdown. No. Three. Two, one. Oh, it's your lucky day. It is your lucky day. And we're oh. gonna add some color back to your bowl. Are you happy it's not real eggs? Yes. <laughs> I see the relief in your face. I wouldn't want a real egg in my hair, but I also wouldn't want my hands in swamp slime. Next question goes to Gwen. Which state did Tyler work hard as president to annex to the union? 
A, Texas, B, New Mexico, or C, Arizona? A, Texas. That is correct. The answer is Texas. Originally, Texas was part of Mexico. In 1836, it declared independence from Mexico and became its own country. Many Texans wanted to join the United States and President Tyler liked this idea. He worked hard to annex Texas and signed a bill making Texas a state just before leaving office. Now it's time for another smoothie surprise. First, we're gonna start a little healthy. Do you like berries? Yeah. Yeah, berries are nice. Nice and pretty. They don't smell bad and they're healthy. She needs a pig ear in the smoothie. No, I don't. No, what she needs is some fruit in the smoothie. Yeah. You should have fruit every single day. It's very good for you. And we, of course, need liquid in there. Uh-oh. I'm thinking, hmm, good old-fashioned pickle juice. I wow. like pickles. You do? Yeah. Then this is going to be the best smoothie you've ever had. <gasps> oh. Let's put some of that in there. <laughs> and wait. You need some protein in there, too. No, we know. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> How about making what? this a berry hammy spammy smoothie? You don't need to put any spam in there if you don't want to. Is this really even meat? Oh, kind of like pick it on out of there. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so slimy. Oh. What is that slimy stuff? Well, we're not cooking it today. Have you had Spam? <laughs> oh, I've had Spam and before. And let's sink that on in there. This is gonna be so good. That smells. <sighs> nice and blended. Oh, that smells so bad. <laughs> Ew. That smells so bad. Oh, no, no. A little on your arm. <laughs> it looks good though. I thought you liked all these ingredients. I do, it's just cold. Wow, that is the fullest bowl I have ever seen on Guess or Mess. A little in your hair? No. Yes. No? No. You've yes. never had spam in your hair? <laughs> now it's time for the final question, and this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. Uh, but what? you must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Make sure you listen to all the answer choices before hitting your buzzer. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Then here we go. Final question. Which side did Tyler support during the Civil War? A, Union. B, Confederate. C, neither. <coughs> Elin? A, Union. That is incorrect. Yes. Let's see if Gwen can steal it. Gwen, for a pie in the face. Which side did Tyler support during the Civil War? A, Union, B, Confederate, or C, neither? B, Confederate. That is correct! The answer is Confederate. Just before the Civil War, Tyler led a conference in Washington, D.C. to try to prevent the war from breaking out. When the war began, he joined the Southern Confederates and was even elected to the Confederate House of Representatives. He died shortly after in January of 1862. And coming right up, fresh from Xavier's Bakery, a pie in the face. So even, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love whipped cream? A quadrillion. A quadrillion? Wow. Okay, I can make that work for you. How about this one stands for infinity and this one's for beyond and we just give you a quadrillion squirts of whipped cream. Uh. <laughs> Is that enough? No. No? More. Really? More? Yes. Gotta give the people what they want sometimes. We're <laughs> oh. gonna have the full bottle. This is so much sugar. This is so much fun. And some nice strawberry syrup for you. Yeah. And some sprinkles. It's falling oh, apart. Oh no, it's falling apart. <laughs> we gotta hurry this show up. Voila. I'm ready. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> Are you ready for this pie? Yes. Ooh, it's so huge. <laughs> Can I get a countdown, please? Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, truly a masterpiece if I've ever seen one. I eat it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How does it taste? Mm-hmm. Is it good? <laughs> Here's what we learned. John Tyler was the 10th president of the United States. After serving as vice president, he succeeded to the presidency because his predecessor died in office. Tyler set a major precedent by insisting he was the actual president, not just an acting president. Just prior to leaving office, he signed a bill to annex Texas to the Union. The winner of our five-point star in American flag trophy is... Gwen! On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yes. yes. Awesome. For being such great sports today, both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now you guys, shake hands. Oh no, oh no, no, no. And how about you give each other a high five? Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Oh no, I'll take one for the team. You can give me a high five. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.